What's up you guys, welcome to today's video. So I'm actually filming the intro like after having already recorded this morning, but I wanted to just do like a day in the life video because my life has changed a lot since I was very consistent on YouTube, but I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm gonna show you guys my morning routine. Honestly, the first thing I do when I get up is wash my face and I've been using, actually the first time I used a Ferreo was about a year and a half ago, I used like the mini one, and now I have this giant one, which I love because it literally like massages your skin while giving you the deepest clean, and I'm obsessed with it. Like I, I can't wash my face without it. I feel like I just have so much dirt and gunk stuck on my face that my hands like can't get rid of. Um, sorry, I'm opening up the app because there is an app that you use when you <laughs> when you use it, and it basically kind of guides you through washing your face so you don't spend too much time on one area. For me personally, this helps like my really, really dry skin get all, kind of all like the dead little crusties off. Okay, so literally, I don't know that it will focus if I, am I, okay, so all you do literally is just hit start. So I'm gonna just kind of wet my face, get my face wash, situated ready to go um but i use this every single morning and then i wear like a tinted sunscreen all day and then i usually just work out in that because i don't have time to like come home and wash your face obviously if you want to wear makeup during a workout do your thing but wash your face right after so this is amazing because it really after a workout especially if you've had makeup on your face just helps get that deep deep clean that I'm literally obsessed with. And I'm just gonna hit start with my thumb. And then you press this. Oh, here we go, start. And then it guides you through it. So right now it's telling me to put it on my forehead. Like I don't, I've never seen anything like it and I'm obsessed. A lot of the time, this girl's guiding me but <laughs> I'm doing my best to follow her and telling me what to do but you know, we're not all perfect. <laughs> Literally my skin feels amazing. I don't even have to touch my skin. I can feel the way that the washcloth uh, like moves along my skin after I've used that is just insane. Like it makes my skin so smooth and glowy. 10 out of 10. Okay. This view, like honestly, within walking distance from where I live, yeah, into it. Literally the breakfast of champions. In my coffee, there's just almond milk, coffee, whipped cream. That's it. And then love myself a little protein bar. Not that this part of my day is relevant at all, but I always take the stairs even though I live on the fifth floor. Because truthfully, I find that the fewer interactions I have in the morning the better it's not that I'm not a people person it's just early in the morning I'm not really ready for a lot of like human interaction it takes me like 30 minutes to drive to work and that's kind of like my my me time like to kind of get ready for the day like get my mind right to be ready for the day so like seeing too many people too early like really stresses me out so I always take the stairs because no one fucking takes the stairs so a little pro tip Okay, so I just popped into I Love Juice Bar, got myself a little Pad Thai noodle bowl and a beet smoothie. So that's my lunch. Um, this morning, my mornings are very like paperwork, computer based, like getting everything ready, all the shipments ready for the day. And then the afternoon is like a lot of, you know, waiting on trucks to show up, get the product and then prepare and pack and stage everything for the next day. So mornings are like, either getting stuff if we've had some last minute things come together for the current day oh mm -hmm. if we've had last minute things come together for the current day getting that stuff together or getting stuff ready for tomorrow it's just a lot of day-to-day -day getting shipments ready 
If you've worked in logistics, you know the drill. Also, this place is so cute, I have to show you. Do I have to show you what I was getting, what I ate? I feel like, my brain, like this is what happens when I just stare at the computer all morning. I'm like, did I just tell you what I ate? I don't know. But anyway, this place is so great. It's called I Love Juice Bar. It's so cute. It's like a little house or something, I don't know. It's adorable. I just attached the fixed label. You should be able to just print just that label if you do like four through four and 21 through 21. Okay, so I just got home, so ravenous. I'm gonna eat this apple and then honestly, I need to record a workout for Instagram. So I'm not gonna take you guys with me to the gym to record my workout or anything because I feel like that's kind of pointless because all my workouts are all over Instagram. Like this one will be up probably within the same time frame of this video, so. Obviously, if you want to go check that out, you guys know my Instagram um, handle is fit by Kiki, but it's Kai Kai K I K I. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this apple. And uh, you guys. Oh, later. But hello. All right, so I just finished my workout. I'm gonna have some of this butternut squash ravioli in this butternut squash soup. So excited for this. And then I'm also gonna have a little cornbread muffin. Okay, so I feel like this is turning into a full day of eating, kind of, because I showed you like what I had for breakfast, lunch, and then a snack after um, work. But I obviously eat a lot more than that throughout the night, and I wanna just finish this video here because I live with my boyfriend now, if you guys didn't know, and I try to be very good about when he's home, just like shutting off from social media and um, you know, YouTube videos and all that stuff. Like YouTube is not really, I'm sure you can kind of tell by my lack of content, it's not really in my heart these days anymore. Um, it's gonna be sporadic, just any content that I do have will kind of just be random. Um, it made me very, very, oh, hello. Um, try not to look into the viewfinder and then that happens. YouTube really turned me into very a very self-critical person and even Macy said to me recently, she was like, you know what, you seem just like so much happier and more confident than I've ever seen you in your life and I think that a lot of that has to do with stepping away from my YouTube channel and um, that's because I would personally say that the comments and the, just the um, level of trolling that goes on on YouTube is more aggressive than any other form of social media in my personal opinion. Um, I had a bad habit of going to any, you know, any like link that somebody would send me like, oh, this is a negative thread about you and I would go read it and just like read the nasty things that people would say about me. It was just not good for my um, mental health. So I really just kind of wanted to step away from YouTube for that reason, which was like hard to do because I feel like I felt like it I let people down by doing that but um, I found a lot of happiness in the last year of my life and I think a lot of that has just been due to being more present in my actual life than the one that I put on the internet which is like a big duh thing that I'm sure a lot of you are like well of course that would be the case um, there are a lot of it, it's not I don't think it's that uncommon that a lot of people who do YouTube full-time or social media full-time are really actually kind of depressed because their life is without structure and it's just talking to a camera all day and then reading negative comments about themselves and it's just like this vicious cycle and I think I finally just realized that I didn't want that for myself. Um, I'm okay as like doing it for a hobby but what I really don't want is for my income to solely rely on people saying positive or negative things about me whether they like or don't like me this week. So. Um, not that anybody asked why I haven't been very present on YouTube, but that's why. And I mean, I think feel like it's something that I've addressed for a long time. It's not a secret, but if you need to be reminded, that's kind of why. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it was like kind of random and just, you know, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff pieced together. But hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, it would mean the world to me just for a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't know when that'll be. Bye.